So this is going to be a new series on my channel. Um, so they're, they're releasing actual hardcore mode on Bedrock Edition this year, apparently, sometime. So I am excited as hell for that. Because, like, hardcore is one of the things I've always wanted to do. But, like, I had Minecraft when I was a kid on the PC. But I was never interested in, in hardcore. Or even, like, really survival. I would always play, like, PvP. But now I really want to do hardcore, and now it's coming. So, like, in celebration of that, I am playing hardcore. Technically. Like, technically, it's not hardcore, because there is no such thing yet. Like, right now, if I died, my world would not delete automatically. But right now, if I died, I would delete my world. So, like, it's technically hardcore. That's also why my heart is the bottom. This is Bedrock Edition, so yeah, it doesn't exist yet. But, I spawned pretty close to this village, and I got plans for these villagers later, so... I need to make sure some of them survive. So I'm locking them in their house. Luckily, they don't have to eat, so I don't have to give them rations or nothing. I just lock them in prison, and they survive forever. But, like, my number one objective is to build a house. And there's already a super cool spot right here, the lava pool. And it being on water is a huge plus because, well, before I have an Elytra, I can boat around. And then once I have an Elytra, I can just fly over the water and it's easy to tell where I'm going. Because I do have coordinates off in the top left, you notice I don't have coordinates. And it's not like on PC where you can like hit F3 or whatever and it pops it up. Like that's in the settings of the world. Those will never be on. Like this world anyways. The next world I could. But I don't know. And also if you guys think you have any ideas for me. Because I don't really know how to lay out this at all. Like I pretty much just like edited me building and farming. And then like now I'm voiceovering it. Because I don't really know. I think next time I'm going to fast forward less. Kind of have like more cuts though. But anyway, I go farm for wood and then I gotta light up my joint because it's dark and I don't wanna die. But option one, build a house. So I'm gonna be doing that here. But this is my spot I like. It's gonna be like a temporary build, so it's not gonna look the best. But I want the inside to look pretty nice. It's gonna start out small, but I'll add add ons later. So I want to build in a way that it's easy to make add-ons. So I build like in a very modular way. So it's easy to like edit and it's easy to add on to. Because like I feel like how I build, I just kind of throw stuff at it rather than like use skill. I just like repeatedly try things and wait till it looks good. And yeah, that panda right there, just, it just rolled right into that lava. I don't know what that was about. I don't know why it did that, but it's somersaulted into the lava and then respawn over here right away. But yes, I'm using the jungle wood for the, like the posts of my roof, my patio. And I want to start digging in there to get my house, but he stopped me, he gets in my way. So I just end him real quick and then continue back what I was doing. So so this is gonna be like my entrance hallway. I need some place to like like store loot. My inventory is very full. So I need at least one chest. So that's where I'll put in that entrance room, which you see it's already there now. And I just put a little flat roof on so I can change it easy. I can get rid of that very easily. But even if I didn't want to do it manually, I could start that on fire if I want to do it, it'll all go away. So yeah. I just gotta build this room bigger. I don't really know how I'm gonna make it yet, but I want it using wood on the inside and outside. So it like brings the nature in. But yeah, I think like the house looks pretty bland right now, but I like the way it like the layout. I like it for how fast it was to build. And it's gonna be pretty easy to decorate the inside. I actually stripped that one log, but it actually I didn't really know that, but the jungle log strip is like almost the same color as like oak planks. So I actually like the way that looks a lot. But in this room, this is gonna be like my hub room. So this will be the center of my base, or my house, not my base. <laughs> but so what I want it to be, like I want to have like a door on each of the four walls, and each of those four doors goes to a different room. So that obviously that one door is the entrance and two chests. One will be like a brewing room, enchantment room, 
the nether portal room you know it'll be stuff like that but yeah it's pretty much like the way it looks out so i get off for the day because it's really late and i downloaded uh, a texture pack called classic shaders it costs real money it was like 10 bucks or less than 10 bucks so not that much but it's weird that they charge for it but i love the way it looks like this looks good so i definitely don't regret getting it so same base but different texture pack and it looks a lot like it looks good but i don't remember leaving iron in my wall and that's because there was an iron in my wall it's just the texture of stone i don't know how they do that i don't know how the texture pack changes some stone blocks and not others and like dirt blocks too like i don't know how it does that but i don't know if i noticed this cave yesterday or not but i need to get in it now i see it and it probably has iron in there which is like the next step i need iron armor and iron tools but yeah so i just use this tree for cover and move them all to me but they still cobble me so then i run into my house because i do not want to die but i just played for like 40 minutes yesterday like just building and then i get on and I, I just woke up at this point like i woke up and get on i'm getting jumped so i just make my way towards that cave because i need to get in it looking back i don't know why i didn't eat here i should be eating right now but it's fine it doesn't really matter that, see that creeper almost got me if i didn't hit it back like last second and take a step back last second i think that probably would have killed me because I was really close to that creeper. So I jumped down here with four hearts and no food for some reason. And I get jumped and I die. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, Echo out.